Hey you guys, it's your girl Beauty with Meek and I'm here to do my empties for January. I have been going through so many empties videos, you guys. It's ridiculous how many empties videos have I been going through. I don't know how many I did last year, but I can tell you we started on a new bandwagon this year in 2018 because we are using up a lot of products in my house. So I'm going to just go ahead and pull from the wagon. Now you guys know I have twins and they love, well mommy loves, the Cetaphil <laughs> Baby Wash. We use a ton of this. I get this for $5.49 at Target. When Target has a sale, I'm catching in. Sometimes the um, Cetaphil Baby Wash is always in the Target cartwheel. So I pay an additional, I think it's like 10% off. So yes, Cetaphil Baby Wash, fan favorite in my house. We have three. Let's see, what else? Now this one, it will be a repurchase. This is the Vino Positively Nourishing Body Wash. This one's in Lavender Chamomile and Yellowling. This one I do love. Um, I just need to catch it on sale again and I'll repurchase this one. And it's not too harsh on, you know, down there. So you fine. Another thing that I really found was okay is not, doesn't have to be a repurchase. This is the four, Sephora Foot Mask. I don't have to repurchase these again. These was basically something to soften up my feet and it was okay. It didn't really do anything. I wasn't expecting it to like peel. It just kept my feet definitely soft in between pedicures. Now let's go into makeup wipes. We have the Ula Hemrickson Nourish Me Cleansing Cloths. I purchased mine at TJ Maxx for $4.99. These were really good, not so much of a favorite, not like a wow thing, but definitely something I was like, okay, let me try it. Okay, so let's see, some more makeup wipes. The Equate Brands, these were gifted to me from Walmart. I love these. Um, what Would Lizzie Do Here on YouTube has talked about these, and I love these to death. You guys know I will continue to repurchase these. You guys know I keep makeup wipes everywhere in my house, even in my car. Now let's go on to some more makeup wipes. These are the Neutrogena um, cleansing cloths, but these are the new fragrance free. I actually really do like these. Um, they a little bit of them. Um, they were good. It wasn't because they were fragrance free. It turned me off a little bit because I was just like, there's no scent to them. So it was just like a wipe, and it was smoothie, and it was natural. Like them, doesn't necessarily have to be a repurchase. I would say. Now, some of these, these were the Neutrogena just travel size. I'm not a fan of this one if particularly, but I wanted to go ahead and use them up to see if maybe my mind had changed. And no, I will not be repurchasing these. Now, let's go into some baby wipes. You guys know I use the Up and Up brand baby wipes. Need I say more? I have two. So the Up and Up Baby Wipes, I get them at Target. These are very good and gentle. I would say I've compared every brand of Baby Wipes when I was a new mom to the Up and Up brand. And I still gravitate towards the Up and Up brand. Our child care provider loves them too. So these are 100 packs. So here's 100, 2, 3, 4. You do get, I believe we get like 13 packs. No, I spent $13.99 for 800. So this is just half the box. Yeah. I got two. Now, some more makeup wipes. These are definitely not a repurchase. That lets you know. Now, something that somebody had told me to try, this is the Johnson's Baby Soothing Vapor Bath. This has like some Vicks in it. It helps with fussing and stuff. I don't know what it does, but the twins love it. It helps with them with their nighttime bath. So I have repurchased this since then. A little bit of it goes a long way. I like that it does give the bubbles and it, the smell is like Vicks in a bubble bath. So hey, whatever works for them and gives them a nighttime bath, I'll take it. Now, some hand soaps. This is the Ice Blue Sage. You guys know that I have so many Bath & Body Works hand soaps. My husband loves them. That's the only soap that he likes to use. So this one is Ice Blue Sage um, with tea tree oil. I purchased this one in my big um, Bath & Body Works haul. Since then, we love this one. This is actually one of our fall favorites. Now, a fragrance that I have run out of, and I'm so happy because I'm running out of fragrances. I'm using up my fragrances, thank God hoping to finish up so many this year this is holly by holly um this was gifted to me and i don't even know if they make this anymore but yeah i was done with this so i got happy and i was like Whoa. so one down and how many more to go but yeah this one was really good if you are spicy musk scent you'll like this one now something i was not a fan of and i purchased these at um let's see i purchased these at tj maxx these are the bliss seep clean mattifying toner pads these burnt my skin straight up i stopped using them they were like five dollars on clearance i still see them in stores i have oily skin and i like my face to be burnt gone bye 
Now, I depotted some concealers and one of them that I just decided to get rid of because Tarte. Bye. Um, now this one is the MAC NW40. I use this one to highlight, but I depotted it and I have used it all up. I'm not sure if I will use this one again because I'm using some other brands, but this will be something to consider to repurchase in the future. If you are looking for something that gives you a natural highlight, but not too like pow highlight, but like a natural highlight, MAC NW40. And I usually use the pro, this is the pro long wear NW40. I usually use the pro long wear NW45. Now, a foundation that I just refuse to force myself to use something that I know does not work anymore and I know that I don't like. So, it's like, why am I going to force myself to continue to use it if you know that every time you use it, you get the same results and you don't like it? Just throw it away. So, in that being said, this is the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint with SPF 30. This was in the shade, this one's in the shade Polynesia. I just didn't care for this one after so long i really did love this last year but i wore this a few times in january and i was like i don't love this anymore i don't like it so you're going in empties and that's what happened plus i was halfway done with it now another foundation that i did not like and this is where we come again i have been just going through a lot of my makeup collection and realizing if i don't like it either give it away or just just trash it point blank period either give it away sell it or trash it and that's what i've been doing if i can give it away that is the first thing i would love to do some things i can't always give away some things i can't sell so it's like you know what just chuck it up and trash it and this one is another one this is the maybelline dream velvet soft Hyd soft matte hydrating foundation in the shade 95 cocoa i used to really like this i went through like three bottles of this and now i don't like it and I can't say that my skin has changed because I've been oily since God knows how long. But for some reason, this third bottle, it just did not wow me. So, it's not a repurchase. Now, mascara that I had love, love, love. This one is the Rimmel Volume Colorist um, Mascara. And it has a lash tint to it. I didn't personally see a lash tint to it. But this one was so good. This one, I'm back to my drugstore, found to my drugstore mascaras. Let's talk about the drugstore mascaras. I'm back to them. My drugstore mascaras are winners. So yeah, this one is definitely a repurchase. Now this one was something I got in probably one of those subscription boxes. This is the Balm Matte Lash. I didn't care for this one. I mean, it didn't do nothing for me. It didn't wow me. The brush is good, but other than that, it didn't do nothing. Now, let's see some deodorants. So, I have been using the Secret Outlast. This is just a holy grail. I have backups of these. This one is in um, completely clean. Love it. Repurchase. Now, something I did finish, and I do have, as you guys know, I did purchase the full size in this. This is the travel size of the Drunk Elephant C Serum Day Serum. This is the Vitamin C Serum. I love, love, love this. I use this twice a day, morning and at night. And I will say, I paid the $80.00. I got it on discount and I bought this because this little travel size proved to me with other reviews that I've seen that this was a must have. So yeah, love it. Now a hair product, a hair product that I've been using and every time I do color my hair, this is the only one I go to. This is the OGX Orchid Oil. This is a color protective oil with UVA and UVB sun filters. And I get mine at Ulta because sometimes Ulta always does like buy one get one half off. I love this spray and the Moroccan oil spray. That's the only thing I use to really keep my color intact and keep it shine. So when you do see those photos, I spray a little bit of this on in the morning and at night when I wrap my hair. And this is just the holy grail. I'm trying to get through everything before I get through these candles. I cannot wait till these go on sale. Oh my God, tag me when they go on sale. Text me whatever you need to do. Just like make a the Bath and Body Works Essential Oils is on sale. I purchased these last year when they were $5 and I'm running low. Like low, low. Like I think I have like one more bottle left. And your girl wants to repurchase some more. The kids love them. My husband loves them. We put this in our bath. This has been so bomb.com. This one is an almond vanilla. Um, I love these. But I just refuse to pay the full price for them. Let's see. Another mascara that I was not a fan of was the Excessive Lash Mascara from um, Makeup Forever. This one just didn't wow me either. And there's the brush. See how like half the brush got mascara on it? I just wasn't wowed. And I've been really trying to get through a lot of my mascaras lately and was like, no. 
Now let's go on to some candles. This one is from Bath & Body This is Iced Vanilla Woods. Ooh, ooh. I love this one. My husband loved it. You guys know that I have been sticking to my limit of six candles in my house only. I'm not doing crazy sales anymore. I'm really doing more smart buying in 2018. But this one will definitely be a repurchase. Now someone recommended, my girl Will Works for Products here on YouTube. Check her channel out. Love her. She told me about the Golden Peach Sparkle. And I wanted to hurt her because this Golden Peach Sparkle, let me tell you, this one is bomb.com. I wish I would have purchased more than one of these because this one was so, so good. If you can't get your hands on it, th definitely purchase this one. I feel like this one replaced the um, Cranberry Pear Bellini or Peach Bellini. And I have two more candles, no, three more. Mary Mimosa is really good too. This one was good if you want to burn in your living room. I did burn this one in my living room to give that um, winter smell, that home smell. Love that one. Now, another one that I will repurchase, and this one's always been a repurchase, is Champagne Toast. Champagne Toast has always been a fan favorite in my house. We love it. I will purchase this, uh, repurchase this one and burn it in any parts of my house. And last but not least is Energy. You know what? I didn't like this one. This one is from the Aromatherapy line, but I did not like it as a candle. I do love it as a bubble bath. I love it as a hand lotion, but not a candle. Now, a mascara that I will repurchase is the Maybelline Big Shot um, Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. I did like this, to be honest with you guys. I will repurchase this one again. I had to actually tell myself stop using it because I don't know how long I was using it. That I was like, mm, you need to change up your mascara. That's how addictive I was to this. So, I will be repurchasing this. Get your hands on it. Now, another, we have another set of fills. So, that's five. Told you. <laughs> Now, I've been cleaning my brushes with this. I have stopped using liquid soaps for my makeup brushes. So, I went and purchased the Zote makeup, the Zote bar soap. I'm not, this is supposed to be a laundry soap. I use this to clean my makeup brushes. Um, a little bit of it goes along. I just clean my makeup brushes with this. It's only a dollar. You can get it at Walmart. It cleans my makeup brushes actually better than the liquid soap too. So, yeah, I have that. I have some cotton round applicators. I use a lot of the cotton round applicators to clean um, if I mess up any mascara issues or anything. I purchased these at Ulta because when Ulta has buy two, get two free, you get a hundred. Plus these work really good when I had to um, touch up my brows for my microblading. I would just use a Q-tip and apply them. So that's what these were for. Now something that I did get and I don't know where I got this from. It must have been in like a one of my subscription bags or something. But this is the Colorain um eye gel patches eye contour patches these were really good these sucked though as far as like sucked your eyes firm them you could feel like whoosh like i was like okay really good if i could ever get my hands on these i would repurchase these to try them out again now again we have the aromatherapy stress relief this is the energy this is now i said i did not like the candle but i do like the body wash the body wash is really good a toothpaste we used in our house and yes we will squeeze it down this is the crest 3d white and glamorous white we use it i prefer it's a toothpaste i didn't really see a big difference me and my husband are the only ones use toothpaste the kids use their own kids toothpaste but yeah this is just something i would repurchase um it did do a good job actually foaming and cleaning your mouth so yeah i liked it I already have a backup. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. If I had, like, literally, there's nothing in here. And I, there's zero in here. Like, no powder in here. And when I tell you that I literally was like, I need to hurry up and order one now. I was literally freaking out. I ran out of this and had to use another powder and was mad that I had to use another powder. I hurry up and ordered this. So this will always be a repurchase. This has probably been the only powder that I have been using to set my under eyes and my face since I, since they actually came out with this. So if there was a way that I could like depot this, then I would, but yeah, I've already bought another one. And last but not least, this is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Sheet Mask. I love the Garnier Sheet Mask. Don't sleep on them. These were only like $2.99. I got mine at Target. I've seen them at Ulta. 
the sheep you guys know i am a sheep mass fanatic i love this one because it really did hydrate <clears throat> i do get some dry patches on my skin during the winter time and i noticed that if i use moisture sheet mask or moisture mask period they really do help hydrate the skin and clear up those dry patches and this was one of them love it all right that is it you guys for my empties you guys know i've been on a roll with some empties let me know what you guys think about this video don't forget to comment don't forget to tell me if you guys think that i should try something that should go into empties later don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where I have been posting all new stuff. So if you don't see it on here, you could definitely catch me on Instagram. You can catch me on my Facebook pages. Till then, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.